2020 has come to an end, and we can all celebrate that this shitty year is finally over, but it came with a cost. We lost many good things during this year, and one of those things is Adobe Flash. December 31st, 2020 marked the end of Flash. After 20 years of supporting Flash games, animations, and more, it has come to an abrupt end. Gamers all across the globe are panicking as a sudden realization that their childhood games are going away. In this video, we're going to be looking at the complete history of Adobe Flash, what made it so successful, the eventual downfall, and the legacy it left behind. Let's take things back a bit. It all started back in the year 1996 when my boy Jonathan Gay decided to fuse Future Splash and Action Script Code and BAM! Flash was created. It gave birth to many iconic websites like miniclip.com, addictinggames.com, coolmathgames.com, newgrounds.com, and Nitrim, and holy fuck, I played a shit ton of Flash games. Websites like Newgrounds gave people the opportunity to create and share these cool, wacky animations. Flash games skyrocketed in popularity to the point where almost every computer had Adobe Flash installed. With its skyrocketing in popularity, it gave birth to an endless amount of Flash games. And I mean endless. Holy shit. Think of any stupid idea for a game and you'd find one. Soon enough, every half-baked web developer realized the potential of making a fuck ton of money. With an endless demand of 5 year olds ready to gob up anything related to Flash, they got to work, following the perfect money-making plan. Find any popular game and make a half-assed copy of it, and use every remaining dollar to plaster advertisements of your game on every popular website possible. Then sit back and relax as kids flock towards your game as it explodes in popularity. Reap the benefits of that success to make another sequel by copy and pasting the original game and slapping a different name to it. Repeat until you've made so many copies of the game to the point where you've created an entire library of games using the exact same game mechanic. Then sell your website to an endless amount of advertisements and you have been the game. So the cycle continued for many years, dipshit kids got more flash content and developers were making shit tons of money. Well let's be honest here, no one actually played these games properly, like seriously. But not every game followed this money making formula, as some games offered a completely new and fresh idea that were going to inspire an entire genre of gaming, but we'll touch on that later. But one question still remains, what made flash games so successful? The answer is quite simple. I mean, literally simple. All you needed was a computer that could run an internet browser and a decent internet connection, and you are fucking set. Any kid growing up in the early 2000s to 2010 were blessed with an endless amount of these games. Easy to access, easy to run, was complemented with simple but addicting as fuck games that gave every kid their first highs. And it seemed like this golden age of amazing Flash games could last forever. Well, until innovation happened. Fucking Steve Jobs. And with innovation came with something even more accessible, mobile phones. I think you can piece together what happened next. Mobile games skyrocketed in popularity. And in early 2010, people realized just how much more accessible it is to carry a handheld device than a whole fucking computer. Soon, every kid flocked to their iPods, glorifying this new generation of games. And the end was inevitable. The number of active players on Newgrounds, cool math games, miniclip and etc. declined. Seeing how well mobile games were doing, many developers saw the potential of making even more money. And fast forward to now where Flash eventually faded away. Flash may be gone for good, but it left behind a legacy. Not only for players, but for developers as well. In fact, Flash games have inspired many indie and mobile game mechanics that you still see today. Look, I'm not gonna sugarcoat my words. There's already a fucking plethora of videos that go way overboard in this topic anyway. But all I'm gonna say is, is I'm gonna fucking miss some of these games. I remember spending countless hours playing these games. Rather than paying attention in class, how me and my friends would literally race each other in games like a run to. These games have provided some of the earliest gaming memories that I had. And so I decided to ask some veterans and asking them on what some of their favorite games were. Uh, what were your favorite Flash games playing like when you were growing up? Idle dice. Also, fuck you, Declan.